Looking for some more technical stuff today. I want to put this Ember racing skid plate, pipe guard through the test. Shouldn't be too hard to find some nasty stuff around here. Welcome to PNW Enduro. Today we're testing the Emperor Racing skid plate and pipe guard. Stick around, that's coming up next. <laughs> Here's a close up look at the skid plate and pipe guard. The one big negative about this, to me anyways, this area in here, in the right conditions, can get right full of mud. It's not too bad today, but in the right kind of conditions, the right kind of mud, that thing will just pack up. You got a few pounds of mud in your bike on an already heavy skid plate. You can see how the slip liner, as they call it, protects your linkage as well. You don't need to buy an extra linkage guard. I think this is sufficient. You're not going to hit anything on there. Plus this plastic piece, you're going to slide over rocks like this a lot better than rock on aluminum. You can also see right here where I've actually bent the skid plate far enough in to put a dent in the pipe. Bent it back out, but uh, still some damage there. Not a big deal. I'm not so worried about little dings like that. More what I'm worried about is bending at the flange there. And this pipe guard is offering superior protection. You're never going to bend in there. my impressions of the Emperor Racing skid plate after using it for a couple months now. I really like the all-in-one design. You have your skid plate, pipe guard, and a linkage guard all in one piece. No need to buy three separate pieces. As far as the pipe guard part, I don't think you're going to find a product on the market that's going to protect your pipe any better than this one. The build quality on this piece is very good as are all other Emperor Racing products that I've used in the past. The downsides of this product, the install is quite difficult and you're not going to want to take it on and off very often so it can make for messy oil changes as well. This thing is heavy. The skid plate itself weighs 6 pounds and when you add the optional slip liner that's another pound or 7 pounds total area in between the frame of the bike and the pipe itself packs with mud which adds even more weight to an already heavy product. In conclusion, if you're riding in a dry desert type area with a lot of rocks this might be a really good choice for you, but if you ride a lot more in the wet and the dirt and the mud it might not be the best choice because it's pretty hard to clean out that mud that gets caught underneath the pipe and in between the pipe and the frame. Thanks for watching PNW Enduro. Remember to like and share this video and hit the subscribe button on the bottom corner of your screen. Until next time, see you on the trails.